What I've brought with me today is um, cold steel trail hook, uh, tomahawk, and uh, Wetterling's hatchet. Now, both are quite popular bushcraft choices, but um, I'm interested to see which is actually a bit better. So I've got this piece of uh, birch, it's fairly, um, I cut it a while ago, so it's seasoned out a little bit, but the recent rains made it wet again. But we'll see how we get on. I think this is ideally the sort of thing that hatchets are good for. Um, well, an axe is better all round. But, you know, you wouldn't want to deal with anything much bigger than this with a hatchet. So, we'll see how we get on. So that probably would have taken me a few swings of an axe, or well, maybe three at most, with a light bushcraft axe. But, I mean, the hatchet can do the job, but to one hand only is a huge disadvantage. Let's see how it splits. Splits very nicely. With the tomahawk, the handle is actually long enough so I can stand up and buck it. So, let's see how this works anyway. Okay, so that took a bit less effort, I'd say. Um, Tomhawk's very, very sticky though, with this uh, thin bit. So, see how this splits as well. So, splits like it, uh, you know, good enough. Not much difference between that and the hatchet, especially with pieces those size. Now I'm going to do a little bit of carving. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll take one of these halves and make a rough spoon shape. And I'll do one side with the tomahawk and then the other side with the hatchet.
Okay, now the hatchet. So what would I recommend getting? Well, the hatchet's very useful at, at home for splitting a bit of kindling, um, doing a bit of rough carpentry, carving. You know, the, the one-handed and the balance is ideal for those sort of tasks. But I think for outdoorsmen and hunters and that sort of thing, uh, the tomahawk's a little bit better. And... Uh, Especially for hunters, the ability to take off the head and uh, use it as a sort of knife is very handy. Um, also, it's easier to replace the handle in the field. Now, people do say, oh, you can do it with an axe as well easily, but very rarely have I seen them do it without much in the way of tools. You know, it, this is just simple, reliable, and there's a reason it was carried by outdoorsmen in the past and... Uh, and uh, it, I think it's quite a good tool. What I wouldn't recommend doing is those getting the cold steel. Um, you can get uh, Rinaldi Sicilia pattern, um, Rinaldi the Italian axe maker, and they do a really nice little um, tomahawk style, but it uh, looks more like a Hudson Bay head, and it's very light, but uh, with a much better handle and uh, it's Italian made, not Taiwanese. It's also got a more wedge shape, so you're going to get the best of both worlds. While this head shape is very thin, it's really more for fighting. So a, the, uh, a more wedge um, geometry would help out a lot. So anyway, I hope that's helpful and... Uh, will be useful to someone who's looking at getting a, a small axe for carrying long distance.